92% of your revenues are on Facebook or are on the web and the market believes this is a problem. This is why this is one of the reasons why your stock is below where it was when you went IPO. So talk about first of all your your opinion about being reliant on Facebook and what the game plan is going forward. Sure. From the beginning we've wanted to bring social gaming to all of you. Um, similar to the beginning of TV, uh, there might have been one network or one or two channels, but I think there was an inherent uh, mass market opportunity to create compelling TV and get it in people's living rooms. We, we've gone anywhere that social gaming could exist, we've tried to, to plant the seeds. Uh, we were at one point twice the size on MySpace that we, are on face that we were on Facebook. Um, so we've, we've gone anywhere that we thought that social gaming could grow. Facebook has been by far the biggest accelerator of the growth because we're all on, on Facebook. So, so it was, it, for the last <clears throat> five years, has been the number one growth engine. Today we're seeing smartphones be a new booster rocket on social gaming because if, if you think about what's driven our market penetration, it's making games more accessible, more free, and more social. And <laughs> More free. There is a concept of more free that I can talk about. Um, <clears throat> but, but mobile is massively moving the dial on accessible. And so, so we see uh, a whole new growth opportunity for social gaming you know, in your pocket. Put on your business hat and, yeah. and very quickly convince us of how you're going to monetize mobile. You crushed monetization on, on Facebook, on the web. But you're, you, you cited a statistic about your, the down, downloadedness of, of your apps on mobile, but you don't have much revenue to show for it so far. Yeah, it's, it's definitely earlier stage in, in mobile uh, <clears throat> becoming a significant market, but um, we're encouraged because you're all holding these smartphones in your hands. You're all playing, half of you are playing games today. Um, <laughs> We'll get to the other half. Um, and, and we all now can do in-app purchase. And so the, the friction of, it's all there. All the components are there. We, in, in some of our deeper engagement games, what we call invest and express games, uh, the games like Farmville and Cityville, on mobile they actually monetize at a higher uh, dollars per daily user than they do on the web. Um, Why? We, um, I think there's two main reasons. One is the demographic mix, that, that smartphones are more concentrated in North America and Western Europe, and Facebook is more evenly dispersed. Um, and secondly, I think that the friction around spending, uh, not just the physical friction, but the behavioral friction, is much, much lower on mobile. So that's encouraging. What we still need to do is create uh, repeatable, scalable distribution for high engagement games on mobile. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so we have some games that have very high daily active users, words with friends and draw something, um, but they don't monetize at the rate of our uh, higher engagement games. And then we have games that have high revs per DAU that don't have the level of distribution. So, so that's, and that's, we kind of, um, are a <clears throat> we are kind of a proxy for the whole developer ecosystem. 